In the Sky Survey may be just for you. Thanks to the new program, astronomers are looking for your help identifying asteroids, and you can do it from the comfort of your home. 13 News reporter Shelby Slaughter joins us live now. Shelby, this sounds like a pretty neat idea. It is a pretty neat idea, Brooke and Dan, and you don't even need a telescope to take part in this research. All you need is your phone or computer, and you can be looking for asteroids just like this, but up in space. We need help deciding from all these little detections that our computer has picked out, you know, is this a real asteroid or is it uh, a false detection? Carson Folds with the Catalina Sky Survey is asking for your help. And all you need is your phone or a computer to step up to the task. Foles and his team are looking for people to go to this website, zooniverse.org, to help identify asteroids. So now we're taking all those that have not had a chance to be reviewed and putting them up for the public to make a decision on. Full says his team observes Mount Lemmon every clear night there is here in southern Arizona. From there, their systems identify images that may contain asteroids. But there's too many photos to go through, and that's where the public comes in. If enough people say, yes, I think this is a real object, then it will uh, show up for us to review later that day, maybe the next day. He says anyone can be up to the task of looking for an asteroid. All you have to do is answer a yes or no question, and then Foles and his team will take it from there. We have been looking for specifically near-Earth asteroids for over 20 years now, and we are you know, the world leaders in finding them by numbers. I'm told this program has already seen some success already. After just a couple of days online, the team has already been able to discover three asteroids. If you want to take part in this research, you can find the link up soon on our website. Reporting from the University of Arizona, I'm Shelby Slaughter, 13 News. All right, thank you, Shelby. Well, it's going to be a tough night.